Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on how to create your own character eyes for vector-based characters in Animator. Here you learn how to create movable eyeballs as well as different eye sprites. First I'll start off in Adobe Flash here where I'm going to put together all the parts of my eye. The first thing I'll do is make sure I have a black outline with white fill selected and make sure the line thickness is pretty thick. This will provide better results for the eye outline. If I want to modify the shape of the eye slightly, I can use the selection tool and drag the edges around until I get the shape that I want. This will be the outline for my eye. I need to make sure I select all the material I have on screen, then right click on the material and select Save as Symbol. This will group that material together for later use. You can see that the symbol will now appear in the library on the right. I'm going to put Image in the Instance Name field in the Properties panel at the bottom, which will classify it as the eye background. Next up is my pupil. I'm going to create another layer here by selecting Insert Layer up in the timeline. I'm still using the oval tool, but now for the fill I want to select the color for my iris. I'll give this eye a nice turquoise color. If the black outline is too thick, you can adjust the line thickness below. Once I've done that, I'll draw a circle to form the outline of my eye. Once I've done that, I'll layer another black circle over that for the pupil. You can adjust the snapping in the view menu if you don't want your circles to snap to a certain point. Finally, I'll just change the filler to white and create a little white reflection on the pupil. Once I do that, I need to make sure layer 2 is selected along with my material, then right click and convert to symbol again. I'll name this one pupil, and also fill in pupil in the instance field as well. The next thing to do is to create a mask for the pupil so it will not show up on the area outside of the eyeball. To do that, I'm going to go to layer 1 and copy the eye outline to a new layer. What I want to do now is move that layer right over the eye outline. I then want to right click and select Break Apart to separate the layers for individual edit. I'm going to make the outline thinner so that it fits inside the eye outline of the base layer and resize it slightly smaller. This mask area pretty much defines the area the eyeball will be able to move within, so unless you want it going outside of your eye outline, keep the mask area within the black eye outline. Once I've finished adjusting, I'll also right click and convert that layer to a symbol, and I'll fill in the instance field with mask. Finally, I want to go up to layer 3 in the timeline, right click it, and select mask. Once that's done, you'll see the completed eye with the iris and the pupil slightly covered by the eye outline. The last thing to do in Flash is go up to the file menu and then select export, and then export the image. What I'm doing now is creating a closed version of the same eye to simulate my character's blinking eye sprite. What I've done here again is copy the eye area from the previous eye outline. The reason I'm doing this is so I can fill it with the same color as the skin on my destination character. To do this, you can take a sample of your character's skin tone and import it into Flash and use the dropper tool. I've done that here and I'm filling in the inner area as well as adjusting the color of the outline to both the same skin color. This will just make my closed eye easier to select and move around in Animator. Once I've done that, I'll put in a straight thick line to represent the closed eye. If I want to curve that line, I can use the selection tool much like I did in the previous eye sprite. I've added in the little eyelash here for style, but once I've done everything, I'll need to again convert my closed eye to a symbol. This will allow me to export the eye in much the same way as I did in the previous example by selecting Export Image from the File menu. The last step is to import the eye to your character. You need to enter into Composer mode first. Once I'm there, I need to select her left eye and enter into the Sprite Editor, which will bring up the Sprite Library for that character. The Eye Sprite Library contains all the different Sprite elements that your character can use in its expressions. When you use Facial Puppeteering, these will change automatically. Right now I'm going to show a simple example of replacing the normal and closed eyes. So first I'll select my normal eye and then click replace. After that I'll be prompted to find the file that I exported from Flash. I'll select that and click open. When replacing the first normal element, I'll be asked whether or not I want to replace all the elements. I only want to replace the first element in this case, so I'll select no. My eye appears a little large at first because the image in Flash was a bit larger than the default recommended size. I can just resize that according to my preference as you see me doing here. Next, I'll select the Tight Close element and do the same procedure with that one, 
only this time I'll replace it with my closed eye flash file. Again, I can resize, reposition, and rotate that one as well. Once I've done that, I'll exit the composer mode and go back into stage mode to test out the results. I'll enter into the facial puppeteering panel here and make sure I'm in the facial puppeteering section. Then I can select a profile. For now, I'll just select the simple comic profile. When I press space in preview, you can see that my eye will move around just like the default one now. If I click the left mouse button, the eye will close and you can see the normal eye sprite being replaced with the closed eye element. And there you have it. Now you can create your own custom vector eyes for your character and even sell them on a marketplace.